Mustang Nation, we are back celebrating those student athletes that have uh, been able to commit and play at the next level. Uh, I'm now joined by Jeremiah Gradowitz, who's going to the University of Nevada, Reno, to play football. Jeremiah, thank you for allowing me to come into your home via virtual interview. Well, thanks for having me. How excited are you? You get to go to uh, your school of choice here in Nevada, Reno, great area, great school, and you get to play the sport you love. Um, how excited are you? Um, I'm very excited. Like you said, it's, it's in a great area. It's like 30 minutes away from Lake Tahoe. And the academics and football-wise is a perfect fit for me. And uh, how did the relationship start with Nevada? Um, why did you choose the college? How did you stay in touch with them? And what came to your final decision? Well, uh, my friend Isaac Jernigan, he's committed there and he plays there. And through him and his dad, his uh, the receiver coach, Coach E. Scott, uh, reached out to me and just he said, "Let's do a preferred walk on." And I had no, like I just, let's make it happen. That's awesome. And now um, you can't just play football. Unfortunately, when you go to college, you have to study something. What are you going to study while you're there? Um, I like I know uh, a lot of the other kids said kinesiology, and you said you were kinesiology. So I'm thinking that if not that, my second one will be business. That's very good. You know, everybody stresses out about what they're going to major in right away. Most people change it anyway, so that's okay. Um, that's that's all right. But if you do end up going down kinesiology and you need some help later on, I'm always here. Business, no shot, man. Can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, we spent now four years, I guess – you know, four years now uh, at Stockdale and, and the year came to the end very awkwardly, uh, very different, but I'm sure you have a memory or two that you can share with uh, our viewers. Yeah. Football wise, I would say my greatest memory would be meeting Rigetti my senior year because they, they ended our season my junior year. And just to go out that way um, with the seniors was, it didn't feel good. So coming back and beating Rigetti was a great uh, feeling. And then school wise, I would say just the everyday thing, like just interacting with, uh, my friends and stuff. I'm going to miss that because we all grew up together and that was always fun. Yeah. I remember yeah. That, uh, two years in a row, you know, heading back to Rigetti for playoffs. And like you had mentioned, your junior year was a tough one to watch. And then your senior year, that was a lot of fun. Um, beating a solid football team and you guys beat them up pretty good. That was, uh, I appreciate you sharing that memory with us. Yeah, of course. That was fun. Now, uh, Jeremiah, uh, long road. You've had a lot of support along the way. Is there uh, anybody you'd like to give a shout out to? Oh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God because I wouldn't be here with without God. And um, obviously my parents, uh, I wouldn't be the man today without them. And Coach Shelton and Coach Pross too, they've really installed just great characteristics in me through these past four years. And also Larry Parker, I wouldn't be the player I am today without him. That's great. You know, you know, as as more of an outsider, uh, not like your coaches being on the inside, I just see uh, just on the outside how much you've grown as a as a player and as a student athlete over the last few years, and it's been fun to watch um, through that growth process. Is there anything that you'd like to pass down to maybe young athletes that are are maybe getting close to the high school level, and and you maybe have some advice for them? Yeah, I would just say stay in your own three-foot world, like Coach Shelton would say, and just worry about what you can control. And when you just do that, everything else will take care of itself. That's perfect. That's perfect. Worry about you. Uh, do your job really well, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, Jeremiah, I'm, uh, I'm really happy for you. Uh, congratulations to you and your family. Uh, you get to get – you get to live out this dream of college athletics and, and you know, go ahead and – get your higher education, get your degree, and might as well hit somebody while you're at it, uh, to use a line from Remember the Titans. So I'm really happy for you and your family. Um, I can't wait to see where you go from here, how you progress. Uh, be sure to come back and visit the Stockdale Athletic Department when you're back in town and, and uh, share those stories and everything you've learned along the way. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Stockdale's – I have so many memories of Stockdale. I'm never going to forget it, and I'll be back for sure. All right. Thanks, Jeremiah. Thank you. Congratulations again to Jeremiah and the Gradowitz family. This is a huge accomplishment and good luck on the next chapter of your academic and athletic career at UNR.
And for the rest of us dealing with these uneasy times, don't forget how powerful you are. You have the ability to positively influence hundreds, thousands of people along the way. So today, just today, use that power in a positive manner and we'll see where this can go. And congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. So if you missed our last video with track standout Nicholas Johnson, click right here and check it out. Or to see all our videos, subscribe by clicking right here. See you soon, Mustangs.